morning everybody and welcome to the last part of getting started with apache huri tms and delta streamer so basically this is almost the end of the project where we're going to spin up an emr cluster and finally run the delta streamer so let me share my screen all right so we have these parquet files inside our s3 folder right we, we essentially have built um, the complete pipeline uh, let me see if i have that slide over here so maybe i can show you yeah this one so basically we have done so far this one so we have aurora we have a dms we have a, you know uh, uh, everything basically being dumped into the raw bucket into the parquet files and now the last part is the emr so all right let's 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 do it right so basically uh, what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna head over to the emr and I'm going to spin up an EMR cluster. So I'm going to probably clone here. Um, so I just wanted to show you the hardware settings as well. So EMR 6.9, Hadoop 3.3, Hive uh, 3.3, Spark 3.3, Edgebase. I'm going to choose that. Uh, I'll use one master, one core node at the, for this. Uh, rest, rest everything could be uh, set to default. and. Uh, now my cluster is in the starting state. I'm gonna resume once my cluster is ready. Just as a note, uh, okay, just as a note, uh, in case you just wanna practice the last part, that is the Delta Streamer part, I have the raw parquet files. You can download and upload them to your S3 folder and then run the command. So just wanted to uh, make sure that you know that, okay? So uh, my cluster is still actually, you know, is in the starting state as you can. Oh, it is ready. So my cluster is ready. Uh, again, if you just need, uh, if you just want to learn with me, right, and if you want to try the Delta Streamer out, I recommend um, you, you know, go to my repository over here, and uh, there I have given. I'm assuming I gave the links uh, last night, if I remember. Uh, let me see. Yeah, here you see, there's a link uh, to download these Parquet files. Okay. So uh, now what I'm going to do, again, this is just for learning purposes. I'm going to try to SSH into it and then try to run the Delta Streamer. So uh, I'm trying to identify the master. So that's the master. That's the first one over here. Now, what I'm going to do is actually uh, for a time being, uh, let me see if I can edit that. Um, yeah, this one. So I'm going to allow an inbound. No, 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 no. That's a security group. Not that. I need... Um, Hold on one sec, security, is this the one? Yeah, that's the one. So for the time being, I'm gonna go to the inbound and just for the time being, I'm gonna say all traffic and wanna do anywhere. That's because I can SSH into the master. Otherwise I won't be able to do it. Uh, again, for learning purposes, I'm doing it, so it's fine. So now I'm gonna click on connect. Now over here, we are gonna say Hadoop, connect. And we should be in, okay? All right, there you go, that's great. So now we're gonna do CD, back, back, CD, CD, back, back, LS, CD. I just wanna show you CD, uh, user lib. I guess it's an user lib. And then CD hoodie. Uh, is there a folder called hoodie? Yeah. So here you can see the jar files are already pre-installed. So in the latest version of, version of EMR, um, hoodie is pre-installed, okay? But it's the, I guess it's point 0.12 and not the point 0.13, okay? So just wanted to make sure that you guys are know about that. Now let's see the Delta Streamer command. Again, I'm gonna spend some time talking about here, okay? Spark submit. This is the class we're gonna use called Delta Streamer. Uh, these are the configuration. So, you know, cryo serializer, you know, basic configuration I'm passing in. My master would be yarn, deploy mode would be client. Oh, I have it two times, so got to get rid of that. Executor memory as 1G. Uh, this is basically the path to the jar file. The table type is copy on write. Operation is going to be an absurd. I'm enabling hive sync. In my data, I have a column called uh, replication timestamp. This is the source class. This is the target where I want my hoodie to be created. Uh, so basically target base path would be inside the hoodie so this will be this bucket hoodie and then inside this folder target table will be uh, you know invoice we can call invoice sales whatever you want to call it doesn't really matter payload class stms avro payload 
um, then these are the configuration that I'm using for Apache hoodie. So uh, uh, my record, record key is going to be invoice ID, which is a unique identifier. This one right here is the partition field path, which is destination state, which means I want to partition my data lake by partition state. These configuration are here for the hive sync. Okay, and uh, we, we are going to try this out. Again, I might get errors, I don't know. So we're gonna try this out. Um, before when I tried, everything worked fine, so let's see. Uh, let me make sure I have all the slashes correctly and I'm not missing anything. All right, let's try it out. Before I paste in the command, uh, if you observe on the S3, I just have a raw folder, right? And also observe in the glue database, I don't have any tables, okay? So I'm gonna right click, click on paste. All right, I'm gonna hit enter, okay? Let's see. Again, usually you submit through a step, right? So let's see how, how this goes, okay? So I'm gonna wait. So if you if it, it if it fails, you're gonna see those errors errors coming in right right here. Again, Delta Streamer makes it super, super easy and fast to submit jobs. Uh, in a matter of, if you are, you know, if you're a company who are who's invested heavily in Delta Streamer, you know, you can just submit it and then, you know, bang, you know, go from there. So again, it is running. And I'm also running in the absurd mode, okay? So observe it is running. So let's see if we see some files on S3. I'm, I'm about to refresh. There you go, we saw the hoodie file, public, invoice, and we got the hoodie metadata. And soon we should see those base files or parquet file coming in. So just gonna wait a little while here. And once the job is done, it's automatically gonna terminate. Again, you can also run the Delta streamer in continuous mode as well. I just wanted to make sure that I, I, I explain that part as well. So it is running, looks good so far. Let's go to the S3, refresh, and there you go. We have some base file. These are my state, and then each partition has their corresponding parquet or base file. Congratulations, guys, if you're able to make it so far, great. Uh, this is basically Kodi Delta streamer in action. Um, make sure to terminate everything, all the resources to avoid high cost, okay? And if you wanna um, basically learn how to create an EMR cluster, uh, I have a video for that. So I just wanna show you that EMR cluster with hoodie. Uh, and in that video, basically I, I show step-by-step step, yeah, this video. So this video, if you see, uh, this video explains how to create a cluster and then there is also a detailed PDF if you observe how to set up VPC and everything for your uh, EMR. Okay, my job is complete as you can see and now if I go back to my S3, right, I have everything here. That is great. Now if I go to my glue database over here quickly in a second. So let me see glue database here. If I refresh, I see a table uh, created and if I go back to Athena, Let's see if we can run an ad hoc query at this point or not. Uh, let's go to hoodie DB raw, preview table. And congratulations everybody. You have successfully done the entire lab. This is a part five. So this was, um, you know, a long video. We made an Aurora cluster, we did settings, we set up CDC, we set up a DMS, a source, a target, a replication instance, we set up a raw bucket, we created IAM role, we basically spent up an EMR cluster, and then we were running Delta Streamer there in action. So again, don't be shy to try. I mean, it's okay to fail, it's okay to have errors, but uh, what is important is that you ask questions, you are learning constantly, and people are there to help you. Trust me, um, uh, I uh, did not try Delta Streamers in the uh, in the past. I had a lot of errors and I have been asking to the community, hey, how do I do this? Hey, what about this? What, what does this do? What does that do? And they were actually able to help me. I, um, you know, we started having conversation. I made some friends as well on Slack. Uh, Daniel really helped me uh, through this problem. But again, the goal here is to, you know, try, fail, try, try, try until you succeed. With that being said, thank you so much for watching. All the resources is there on my GitHub on a README file, which you can find it here. If you have any questions, let me know. Until then, see you next time.